Tanabella84 subscribed to your channel for 9 months. Hello everybody! Happy Thursday, happy Archaeology Day, and happy birthday to me! <laughs> it's my birthday! Hello! Happy Thursday everybody! How y'all doing? Glad to have y'all here! Hello Ophi, Thalia, Ardilla, Chloe, glad to have you here! RBL, Tanabella, Hanalis, Short Bust, Jezia, how you doing? Welcome! Aw, and thank you everyone for the happy birthday wishes. I super appreciate it. And for the continued sub, Tanabella. Super appreciate your support. Because thanks to folks like you, I might be able to hit that 70-30 split. Oh, uh, speaking of, I need to update my thingy. It was 322 this morning. Update that real quick here. Boop. There, it's update now. Okay. Happy 8th birthday! Thank you! Yes, it is technically my 8th birthday because today is a actual uh, leap year. And I am born on the leap year, so. Yeah! It's, it's leap year. <laughs> Happy birthday! Hopefully, hopefully you get lucky on the uh, Mog Farm. Thank you! I'm sure hoping so. Man, let me tell you, I am, I am so hoping so. But we're doing archaeology! And this time, instead of doing it in Legion, uh, we're gonna do it in BFA for a while. I like BFA. I think BFA um, might actually be better than Legion for archaeology. I think this was something I had discovered and then had forgotten. But you have to be 70 for it. I think that's why I was thinking, oh, Legion's better. But it's better if you're not 70. Because they scaled BFA to 60 for some reason. So, yeah. Only special people are elite babies like my grandma and you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah, so you all kick back, relax, grab a drink. We're just going to hang out and uh, do archaeology. So nothing really special planned for the day. I still want to do my archaeology. And, well, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so nestle in, folks. We're doing some archaeology. All to the ominous dulcet tones of BFA. <laughs> Hello, Witch Hobbit. How you doing? Glad to have you all here. They scaled BFA to 60 because when you make a new character, it's the quest that you get handed over to do because they forget want to forget Shadowlands. Yeah, I know why they did it. It just doesn't mean I agree with it. They should have left it at 50. But you know, whatever. Whatever. What would I know? I just play this game. <laughs> uh, thank you, Witch Hobbit. I keep wanting to go, happy birthday to you too! Because, you know, as a reaction, but that uh, that is not the correct reaction. <laughs> it's not your guys' birthday, unless it is. And hello, Poppins! Missed you back up there. Hello, how are you doing? Glad to have you here. Uh, the thing went off. There it is. So yeah, we're just going to do some archaeology, so... We gotta get this guy up to 600, and then we can uh, turn in all his stuff, and then we'll see what we get. So, yeah. There we go. Here for a bit. I don't know how long, but my dad will be picking me up soon. All good, no worries. I hope you have a fantastic day today as well. I don't have anything super special planned for my birthday. Uh, if my mom gets her car fixed, the whole family... My mom, my parent, my dad, my brothers, and I are going to go out for dun a dunner <laughs> lunch tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, if she doesn't get her car fixed in time, then, uh, we won't. Hold on, 
I'm listening to something, making sure my audio is okay. Okay, anyway. Just wanted to make sure audio was being picked up because it gave me a, your audio is weird. I'm like, uh, no, it's fine. Oh, well, it's okay. Anyway, let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, just reached 495 mounts. I'm buzzing. Wish I could get it done this week. We'll have to be next week. Oh, that's awesome. You're so close. Congrats. Uh, where would you eat if you're able to? Well, we're gonna go to this uh, Szechuan place. Pretty much my rule for me is anything Asian. I love dumplings and wonton and like all that stuff. Just uh, give it all of it, please. <laughs> so anything Asian cuisine is my favorite, my absolute favorite. So udon, lo mein, doesn't matter. Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, I'll take all of it. Uh, sounds like I'm 32 now. <laughs> Uh, it's telling me to continue my sub. That's funny. Chatterlands, but also BFA. Lots of mounts. Yes. Crazy. I'm 407. It's impressive. Thank you, Data Bob. Appreciate it. Glad to have you here as well. Did I get the thing? These ones are hard to see. They blend in with the ground. Which I guess is the point, but... Okay, uh, to the next dig. Uh, I don't understand. I got an email saying my sub expired, but I bought three months at the max price. Somebody continue my sub? That's weird. Yeah, you're still subbed, so I don't know. Maybe it's just being weird. You know Twitch. Hello, Beth. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Welcome. Welcome to some archaeology birthday archaeology. Birthday digging. <laughs> uh, your audio sounds different. Sounds like you're 32 now. <laughs> yes. There we go. Okay. Also, you all stay hydrated. It's good for you. Mm-hmm. Preferably with water. <sighs> Excuse me, little cool rat, really? There we go. Nice. I haven't gotten very many there. Ah, oh, gotcha. Happy birthday. Thank you, Misty. Appreciate it. And welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, let's see. What do you do? You make big progress in mount collection. Absolutely. There's a lot of mounts in BFA. Especially Shadowlands. Shadowlands has the most mounts added in all of the expansions. Even over Dragonflight. Which is kind of insane. <laughs> so many! I looked at the list. I was like, you're kidding me! So, there you go. I ping again. I hope it's not messing up your numbers. Uh, it shouldn't. It, it should be fine. I mean, it still says you're subbed, so you got the little icon. The little uh, badge or whatever. I need to make new badges. I'm over a year now. I don't have anything beyond six months besides the little stars. I just haven't figured out what I want them to be. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, hello, Square Pusher. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Welcome. Great news. I got a new job. Was made redundant just before Christmas. So got a job again. Yay! Congrats, Beth. A good day indeed. Congrats on your new job. Glad to hear it. Mavericks followed your channel. Thank you so much for the follow, Mavericks. Glad to have you here, and I hope you're enjoying your stay. Doesn't really look that much different. Interesting. Can I change that while it's live? Hold on a second. Uh, no. Yes? Yes. I can. Interesting. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty. There we go. I need to remember not to breathe into the mic. I don't know if it sounds 
weird or not, but <laughs> the mic is directly in front of me now instead of to the side, so I gotta get used to it. Uh. Party 100 happy birthday Q U E E N. <laughs> Marome Hughes cheered 100 bits. <laughs> Excuse me, I choke. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Maromi. <laughs> Apparently, the bot, uh, Q U E E. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Thank you for the bits and the laugh. That was good. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Getting behind on chat here. Uh, Cola. Yes. Twitch ups confuse me. You and me both. It's a funky little system. It doesn't help that I think uh, some of my subs are mobile, so through Apple Pay? Hmm, maybe. Maybe that's why it's confused. I don't know. Gonna have to go hunting soon, working on my class mounts. Yes, good luck, Ophi. Happy birthday. Thank you, Cubwa. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. It's another beautiful day. It is indeed. It is pouring down rain outside. <laughs> Which is fine. That's how I like it. I, I like the cold. I like the wet rain. Misty, foggy stuff. Way to go on the job, yes! <laughs> uh, I have a birthday too, a good day for you too. Thank you, Beth. Do you have any plans tonight? Homemade dessert, fun games? Nope, no plans. I mean, I was just gonna probably just play WoW. Not do other work. That's about it. I don't really do much for my birthday, to be honest. Um, yeah. Not really much of a party goer. I'm kind of lame. I have to admit. I'm very much just a oh, just chill, chill, hang out, play games, hang with my friends. That's about it, to be honest. I don't have work today, um, besides streaming. So I didn't. I got to sleep in. So that's that's a birthday bonus to me. My boss was like, "Yeah, I know you only work a few hours in the morning, but you can sleep in today." I was like, "Oh, okay." Goes immediately back to bed. <laughs> Cause he didn't tell me yesterday. He was like, "Oh yeah, your birthday is today." I was like. Yes, thank you for remembering. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, you just took the day off. Okay. So I did. Uh, so that was cool. I slept in until right before a stream, and now I'm all like, uh, I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. Just do some archaeology during stream. I don't know. My birthday plans, quote unquote, aren't really till tomorrow, because, well, my family works during the week, just like I do. So, um, we're gonna go tomorrow evening, well, afternoon, evening, 4 p.m., when everybody's off. Assuming my mom gets her car fixed. <laughs> uh, so. It's getting work done right now, so we'll see. The steering pump went out, and she's replaced it twice within the last week, and they keep going out, and I'm like, okay. I think they're chipping you somewhere. Uh, sleeping in is great on a rainy day. Glad you were able to do that. Yes, it's pretty rare that I sleep in, to be honest. Unless it's on like a... Friday morning or a Saturday morning are the only two days I usually can sleep in. Because I don't work those days. So. Yeah. It's not very clear. Technically, you still need to complete some of the Breaching the Tomb quests. I don't know where the proper guide about this is. It's a lot to explain. Uh, oh, up here. Okay. I'm running into an issue, though. Suppose if you completed uh, reaching the tomb, you don't have to do much. However, mine pick isn't picking it up. Yeah, I'm not sure, honest on honestly, on all that. I did all of the Legion stuff when it was current because I enjoyed it so much. Um, and I haven't done it a second time. <laughs> so I, I'm afraid I don't have a lot of input on that one. I know you weren't asking me directly, but... Still. I looked at Wowhead, so confusing. Ah. Well, just do all the things, I guess. At least it's all soloable now, so even if it's all like, hey, go do this raid, you can easily go solo it. That's the nice thing about legacy content. Current content. You want me to do a raid in a dungeon? <laughs> legacy content. You want me to do a raid in a dungeon? Cool! Maybe I'll get some Mog. Hmm. Big difference. <laughs> uh, see where are we at 493 we're getting there 
Yeah, I've gotten a lot more uh, restored artifacts. And I think that is because... Even though in BFA I notice I don't get level up points for completing a thingy. It's only from the digging itself. However, besides the rare ones once in a while, the highest artifact points it wants for an entire, I don't know, artifact, I guess, seems to be 70? It's between 30 and 70, which is great. And those Legion ones can get really high. They can go up to like 150, 100, 120, and that's kind of common. So, I guess BFA is a little better if you're 70 at least. Going to at least share a screenshot what parts you do need still for the mounts on Discord. Thank you, Witch Hobbit. Glad you guys are helping each other. I appreciate seeing that. Warms the cockles of my purple heart. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Happy birthday, Kraken. Thank you so much, Lubbo. Appreciate it. Glad to have you here. I think y'all were saying uh, I'm technically eight. Is that what I am now? Because it's a leap year? I think I'm eight. Sounds about right. Ooh, going into Drustabar. Ugh, doing this with dragon riding. Ugh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad they did this. Thank you, Blizzard. I'm still gushing over how nice it is to do, to fly around in legacy content with dragon riding. I need to move my mic a little bit. Come to you. Get a little closer. There we go. <sighs> You'd be eight, because I remember... Oh, that's why I had it over there, for when I turned my head. There we go. Apologies. My mic is on my desk now instead of on my headset, because it's a better mic. And I got it set up, so I'm going to use it. But... Trying to find the right spot for it. It's a little weird. You'd be eight, because I remember when we joked about you being seven. Yeah, I can't remember... Like, I know we joked about it, but I don't know if that's mathematically correct or not. It should be. For your birthday, I'm hitting 70 on my 10th and 11th characters today. Nice! Good luck! That's awesome. Definitely a nice, um... A nice grind. Oh, speaking of, of hitting 70... Um, since they removed the buff nerf, or the XP nerf, rather, to- because it didn't really get buffed. It, people are calling it a buff. It's more or less they just removed the restrictions. To follower dungeons? Has anyone tried leveling with those? I, I'm theor theorizing, based on when I did run them, that they would be about the equivalent of a specific dungeon queue. Because what makes dungeon queues give good XP is it's random. The random ones, you get extra XP for choosing random. When you do specific Q, you don't get that XP bonus. Um, I'm theorizing that based on how much I got when I did the follower dungeon before, now that they've removed the XP nerf restrictions, should be about the same as the specific. Just curious if anyone was trying it. But yeah, they increased the amount of dungeons you could do to 50. I saw that, which is kind of weird because I don't know if the cap was working for me. I was doing way more than 10 a day. So I... I mean, that's great. I'm glad they officially did, but I was doing way more than 10 a day. I'm like, I, I don't know if the cap was actually working. So uh, I don't know. That's a little strange. But the XP nerf thing, so that's that's gone now. So that's nice. I love the time lock dungeon, so I don't know. Time walking dungeon would still be infinitely better. But the thing is, like, if if a follower dungeon is comparable to a specific queue, what would make it kind of fast is you're not waiting for queues. Because, you know, sometimes your dungeon can queue queues can take 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on the day. And what ro what role you are, so. I don't know. I'm just curious. I haven't really tested it myself. Just curious if anyone was using it. There we go. Not since the uh, the change, I mean. <sighs> do, do, do. Oh, this one's done. Next one. Next. <clears throat> also, you all make sure to hydrate. Mm-hmm. 
Ah. Make sure it's Wata. Wata, good for you. <sighs> Do you know off the top of your head if Light Forge. Oh, I passed it. Light Forge Drain, I can summon a forge and an anvil, or is it just the forge? Ooh. I know that wasn't toward me, but. You know? I feel like it was just one of those, because I remember being disappointed. I just don't remember which way. I just remember being disappointed with it, because it didn't do something I wanted. But if you need on-the-go anvils, oh! Hey Kraken, why is Arian Play subscribed to your channel for six months? <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub, Yazarian. Super appreciate your support. Because thanks to folks like you, I can keep working. So, thank you so much! There we go. Right? I can't remember. I know, right? And also, hello, Yazarin. Hey to you, too. Oh, there we go. Nice. But it would be so good for Blacksmith Engineer Pally. It would, but um, if you need... Not that. What are they called? There is an item, and they're super cheap and easy to make, um, if it helps. There it is. It's called the Thermal Anvil. Let me type it out for you. Thermal Anvil. You can look them up if you want. I highly recommend getting those. They're super cheap and easy to make. Uh, they're technically BOE. Not even They don't even bind, honestly. You can sell them on the auction house. You can buy them super for super cheap. They do both the forge and the anvil part and they cost very little to make so highly recommend using those if the if the uh that helps you at all hmm forge of light blacks enabling blacksmithing 15 minute cd 15 minute cooldown but yeah they, those are only what a five minute cooldown i think for the thermal anvil and i put them on the auction house all the time they're really handy, too. So thank you for doing that. I buy them a lot because I'm too lazy to make them myself, even though I totally can as a blacksmith. <laughs> I'm just like, eh. All I need is the Bruto, then. I feel that. Well, hopefully uh, hopefully you can get that someday. Or hopefully they come out with another auction house mount, at least. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I don't need to buy Anvil since I'm Lightforged. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. 509, we're getting there. I would love that if I did. Right? I would like another one. And a barber mount. I didn't think I would want a barber mount, because I didn't usually used to change stuff in the barber that much. But on the other hand, it would kind of be nice to have. It would be kind of nice to have. Because that's the... Besides void storage, I think void storage and barber are the last, like, frequently used NPC system things. I don't know what to call it. That, that I would like. Mobile void storage. We don't have a single mobile void storage. They need to do more with void storage. It's so neglected. They need to make it bigger. Get way more slots. And remove the stupid unique restriction. If it has a unique tag, you can't put it in there. And some legendaries do and some don't. So I can put like my Wad, Mop, and Legion legendaries in there. But like Shadowmorn and couple of the others I can't. I'm like, please. It's so annoying. <laughs> please, Blizzard. <laughs> uh, void star- alright, let me back up. Uh, I change my hair sometimes according to the mog. Nice. See, I probably would if I had more more access. Void storage is basically dead. I think very people even utilize it at all. Yeah, because it needs to be upgraded. I use it frequently because I like to get stuff out of my bank. Because I collect stuff, like, uh, books and legendaries and things like that. Keepsakes from events. Pre-patch currency that's physical. I have all that. Um, and Void Storage is perfect for places like that. Or like those weapons back when the Warcraft movie came out. You um, went to see the movie, you would get a physical little code tag thing. And you could go get the weapons in game. I have the physical weapons still. Those are in my Void Storage. Stuff like that. That's what it's great for. Using stuff that you're never really going to use anymore, but you're keeping it. And who knows, you might use it. Like sometimes, uh, 
the mop cloaks are fun to whip out and run around with wings on my back. So. <laughs> uh, never used it. Well, it's definitely a great place to store stuff that you don't use often. I just want proper filters for toys, resections, toys, hearthstones, toys, transformation, toys, dummies. That would be definitely nice. I agree. There is... Let's see how many toys? 893, at least according to my list. There's a lot of toys. And so many of them are actually useful. They're not <laughs> categorized at all. So yeah, I feel that. I agree. Oh man, they just need to have a lore collection to have your books and stuff. Hard agree to that too. Yes, please. Proper random hearthstone button similar to random mounts. That would be nice, and I wouldn't have to use a um an add-on for it anymore. Nightcracking in chat, have a wonderful birthday stream. Have a fantastic night, Thalia. Thank you so much for being here. See you later. But yeah, agreed. That'd be nice. So I have an add-on for it called Random Hearthstone, but still. There we go. Boop. Give us all the tabs. Yes, all the collection tabs, please. But I do wish titles were more like in a better collection tab, including ones that, you know, that shows you what you don't have and gives you like information on them, kind of like uh, the Mog stuff does and all that. They're just kind of, I feel like they're just kind of haphazardly thrown the, over there on your character list. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> and the stream froze for me. What's up with Twitch two days in a row? I don't know. Refresh, I guess. It's still going here. It's still smooth for me here. There we go. Boop. 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 Twitch just having issues, I guess. Who knows, man? Beautiful. All right, what are we up to? Four, five, seventeen. Not too bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, give. Opai has a default ring for Hearthstone. I use it all the time. See, I uh, I made my own. I made my own Hearthstone ring, just because I have my random Hearthstone macro, and then I have. Dalaran and Garrison, but I like the randomizer because <laughs> I never choose specific ones to be honest. I have too many to choose from. Uh, Twitch always gives me issues on my PC. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, they need to add a library feature so every time we find the random books and such they just archive themselves or something. There's so many great tidbits and stories, and there really is, and like the vast majority of them are just scattered throughout the planet and you can't pick them up. You can't like save them or anything. There's even a whole achievement, I think it's a Kata achievement, for reading all these different books. There's like 50 of them across uh, the Eastern Kingdoms. And so much lore is in those. But you can't keep them. So it kind of sucks. Uh, that's, that's definitely on the wish list for sure. I would love a way to collect lore. Here we go. Thunder, Spec, and Travel, they had Dal and Garrison on that ring too. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I saw that one, but I deleted it. <laughs> I, I deleted all the ones I don't use and just made my own. Uh, I love all the UI updates. Yes, they've definitely been nice. It's a nice good uh, step in the right direction because man poor wow it's uh she's an old gal she could use some updates all right eh here we go maybe in our player housing we get a bookcase that'd be nice i would love that okay this direction On words. It's cold in here. I have to put my. Let's see, he's flying that direction. Let me turn my heater on. Hold on. Window already closed. Yes. Okay. It's supposed to snow today. And it might. It's cold. 
It is cold. <sighs> Archaeology is relaxing and I do enjoy it, but man, I would love to be done with it. I've been doing this for years? <laughs> Actual years. One day. Let's see, who was I going to work on with this guy? Troll. Was it troll? Did I want to do troll? Dwarf. I'll do dwarf. I need to get some more keystones for those. I'm surprised someone hasn't made a database of books in a while. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that uh, we've not seen like an add-on of some sort. Maybe it's not really something physically possible. I don't know. It'd be kind of nice though. If a lot of work though, to be honest, I could see it. There we go. Moist. I have 25. Still gotta be 600 though. Not quite done. There we go. Nice out of you. Nice out of you. Excellent. Ding ding, there it is. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Nice little area up here. It's pretty. Ding ding. Doing a capture of a capture. Oh, pristine. Nice. It's a little grainy. We'll have to work on that. Do that this weekend. Ding ding. Nice. I'll take some dressed bones. Thank you. Five thirty. I'm getting so close. Just gotta hit six hundred, and then we can switch alts again. Or speaking of, who would we be going to? The next highest is either Noko or Boss. We'll do Noko. We'll do Noko after him. My little hunter. Okay. Up to Storm Song. Ah, BFA zones are so pretty. But lovely here. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> Felictitious greetings on your quarterly annual. Womb Egress Celebration Day. <laughs> That's a way to put it. <laughs> Thank you, Skylarth. I'm glad to have you here. How are you doing? Uh. <laughs> uh. There we go. There we go. Nice. Give me that. Yeah, these are nice. These haven't really gone too much higher than like 70, besides the, the rare ones that pop up once in a while. Cool. I think I'll just stick with BFA stuff. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whoop. Oh, hello. Stretch. Okay. Hmm. Doing some archaeology. I 
do wish solving each art, uh, artifact gave points like the previous expansion ones do, but it's okay though. I guess it kind of makes me uh, do this a tiny bit longer and thus get more artifacts out of it, so that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, excuse me? Hello? Hello, Verk. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Welcome. Happy Archaeology Day, Thursday, and birthday. <laughs> Birthology Thursday. There's birth. There's Thur theology day. There we go. Combine the three words. All these wolves get out of here. I'm trying to do archaeology. There we go. Boop. Ding ding. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Got another one. Another one! I'll dig it! There we go. Whoop, I can't see. Ding ding. Beautiful. Absolutely positively beautiful. There we go. Did the fire act run today? It was smooth. 59k. All for the, uh, for the carry? Nice! Congrats! Any luck on the weapon? Or if you were trying for it, I don't know if you... Excuse me. Brought a character that could get it. There we go. I was really hoping I would get, um... The Legendary on my palette, and I didn't. Because when I did it... <laughs> when I did Sarkarth on my, my Evoker, I got a carry for a piece of Mog. <laughs> I got the Legendary. <laughs> The people carrying me were so mad. <laughs> it was funny. I was like, oh! I don't even have that made yet, cause it's so expensive. Alright. Didn't get any loot, but I did do Mob World boss farming today. Like, boss, boss to boss instead of parking alts, and I got Nala because my first one. Nice! Congrats! That's the, uh, what, the Thundering Cobalt or something? Those are cool mounts. I do love the Cloud Serpents. I wish they'd do more with them. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see anything happen with the Cloud Serpents and uh, Dragonflight, because they are another type of dragon. But, you know, we all know the aspects are unfortunately quite racist to the lesser draconic races, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't want to talk about Fire Lego. I've done it almost every week on Heroic since December, and I still don't have the stupid Lego on my rat. Ah. I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Here we go. Okay. I'm on his laptop. This laptop without a graphics card, so I wouldn't be able to go fire it myself. Oh, snap. <laughs> well. Hey. I get it. You do what you gotta do, you know? That's impressive, though. Wow, must look really crunchy. There we go. I love the music here. Cloud Serpent, oh, let me back up. Uh, I'm still pushing M plus 25s, but I just feel incomplete as I want to push higher. Yeah, completely understandable. Well, hopefully you get it soon, Goose. Cloud Serpents and DF would have been super cool. Agreed. Agreed. Maybe they just like Pandaria too much. Maybe. Who knows? Because we do go to Pandaria too to go talk to one of the blue dragons during that quest line. But nothing about the Cloud Serpents. I don't know. It's just sad. I don't want to raid at all, but I feel like I need to for that stupid Lego. Ah, uh, yeah. Understandable. around. Uh, are you playing on max graphics cracking with the add-ons and stuff? I can. I can play on a full 10, but I usually play on 7 while I'm streaming just for stability reasons, but usually yes. There we go. My add-ons don't really cause any issues for me. They used to on my older computers, but not this one. 
Oh, we also have Time Running Pandemonium coming out. Yeah, I'm curious to see what that's going to be about. Definitely. There's a lot of speculation going around. Have they said anything about what that's going to be besides the ominous name? I am personally hoping they're bringing challenge mode back and we can get the old challenge mode loot, even if it's for a limited time. Just saying, I will throw my face at that so hard. Not even funny. Nada? I didn't think so. Maybe, I guess we'll find out when it comes out. Uh, if I didn't get a Lego drop, I think I'd be salty enough to switch mains. I completely understandable. Maybe we get more uh, cloud, more cloud mats. That'd be cool. I'd like that. Not yet. Yeah. But all I want uh, the Legos for is a cool mog, really. <laughs> same Witch Hobbit, I know. Same. That's why I'm not too butthurt about it myself. It's a really cool axe. And I definitely want that mog. But, you know. It'll get it when it gets it. So I even have the specific character I'm going to use that mog on. But, one day. There we go. No, they said they wanted it to be a surprise. That one too? I figured that was just the uh, the pirate thing. Unless that's related. I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. I want old C-modes back as well, but also C-modes for all dungeons. Mop, Wad, uh, Shadowlands, Legion, even DF. Yeah, completely understandable. See, I hated challenge mode with a passion. The only reason I would want it to come back is so that I can get the stuff that I was denied uh, back in Mop. I have the Wad stuff. But uh, the the phoenixes and the class gear. I almost had the phoenixes and the paladin class gear. But the group slash guild I was with quit on me and I was unable to get another group before we finished. We were about half done with all the dungeons and I'm still salty to this day. Otherwise, I absolutely despise them. <laughs> Hated them. I just want it because of the shinies. Time running is also a secret. I thought they just said 1026. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're related. They're in separate parts on the roadmap. Yeah, that's probably why I was thinking. I thought they uh, it was just 1026, but I don't know. Who knows? We'll see, man. They're being all mysterious. Maybe they don't even know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? But they're like, we don't know what it is either. We're just gonna kind of wing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. I think they might introduce uh, TJ Ogmar as a time walking raid. They might, but I really wish it would be Throne of Thunder personally. I like Throne of Thunder way more than TJ Ogmar. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like Throne of Thunder is way more thematic to Pandaria. So. Ah, oh, it's a little tiny. Look at him. Look at him level. Oh well. I have all those mogs, so I want Mage Tower Weapons appearances instead, since I wasn't able to play much during that time. But yeah, I don't think it'll be anything like that. I think it'll be new stuff. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I really wish they'd just bring all that stuff back. Mage Tower appearances, challenge mode stuff, leave it scaled down, make it hard, whatever. Just leave it in game, please. Yeah, I don't get why they couldn't return the Mage Tower weapons when they brought it back. Right? And it's even harder than it was back when it was current because it scales you now. It didn't scale you when it was current. You could outgear it. You could use, you know, legendaries and all this stuff and just go ham on it. Which is, in my opinion, what made it fun. But not anymore. Not anymore. Seems like most people like TOT as well, but Data Mind shows more SOO stuff. Ugh, bummer. And doubtful, but maybe they'll bring back the uh, the heirloom weapons. Anyone remember those from Garrosh? I only have a couple uh, before they were removed, but that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Stingy! <laughs> yes, it is being stingy. Exactly. Still have nightmares from the one shot snails and throwing them on theirs. Hey, yeah, those things are deadly, man. And they will still one shot you to this day. If you're not careful, it's pretty hilarious. Other nades fun. Sometimes I wonder, man. Happy Burfmas. Thank you, Flop. I appreciate it. Happy Burfmas. <laughs> those were also day man as well. They were updated slightly. Really? The heirloom weapons? Ooh. 
Well, I'll be less salty if it's uh, Siege of Argamar if they bring back the heirloom weapons. Just saying. There's the wad trinkets too from the mythic dungeons you can't get anymore. Those were really handy. I have those. I'd like to see them bring them back though for people that don't. For collection, you know? They're useful and they're kind of cool. They do uh, neat stuff. They've removed so many things over the years. It drives me crazy. Like it's not a lot compared to the content they haven't removed. Let's make it okay though. Yeah, I have all those as well. Maybe missing one or two. I think I'm missing most of them. Because I pugged a lot of that because the guild I was in at the time was just trash. So. Yeah, that challenge doesn't sound fun to me now. Wish uh, I knew of it in Legion. I don't think I was active in that part of Legion. It, I actually really enjoyed it in Legion. Like, I hated it at first, but once I kind of got used to it, I actually ended up really liking it. And it taught me a lot about how to play every spec. Which... Even though the classes are different, you know, they change. Um, it still holds a lot of a lot, a lot of water today. I learned a lot about how to play everything. So I, I feel pretty confident with all my different specs. Except for maybe Rogue. <laughs> there we go. Speaking of heirlooms, finally got my fishing ring. Congrats, water goddess! That one's a pain. That one's... Now, it didn't take me too long to get, but still. I didn't enjoy that little competition thing. So, glad you got it. Uh, I tried that in Legion. It was scary. It was. It was rough. Blizzard, fun detect, and roof fun nerf mages. That is all. <laughs> yes. I only know what it is uh, about leveling and retail. It just doesn't do it for me for some reason. I've enjoyed a buff system of sorts in private servers, where there is a rotation that you get more from XP from either PvP, Dungeons, Open World. Understandable. Would be cool if PvP would also be viable to XP. Understandable. Can I link the Wowhead article? Of course, Goose. By all means, I'd like to see it too. I know it's not everyone's thing, but it is a big part of the game. It is, and I do wish they'd give it more attention. I agree, Flop. Happy birthday! Thank you, Mooks! Hey, nice. Thank you so much, Mooks, and glad to have you here. I think I'm missing one or two Wad Heirloom Trinkets and maybe one or two of the Mop Legendary Cloaks. I hate it when I think, you idiot, why didn't you finish getting all those back in the day? Aww. Uh, well, speaking of, on the Mop Cloaks at least, um, did you happen to get one of the Cloaks on a class that has all three roles available? Because if you do if you did you can go buy the other cloaks from a vendor in the tavern of the mists if they're still there i did that in shadowlands because i didn't have the holy one because i did it on a paladin because i didn't play holy much i didn't like it um and it was available still i could go buy it if you didn't though and it was just like a strictly dps or only two you can't go buy the other ones unfortunately but in case that's still a thing, maybe look into it. There we go. Thank you, Goose. I'm walking raid. Perfect. Let me save that link and I will check that out after stream. Oh, thank you. That notes. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Apparently my gnome mage is lucky because I'm working on archaeology on them and the second artifact they can craft from dressed as a rare. Wow, dang. Congrats. <laughs> That's impressive. Sorry, I come here and spit hot takes. You're fine, Flop. You're fine. You are all good. I wonder how much of WoW's FOMO is based in the player and how much is intentional game design. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I really don't know what they how they decide that, you know? I'll have to check. Yeah, definitely look into that, because if you did a multi-role class, you might be able to just go buy the other ones you didn't unlock at the time. Maybe. I don't know if that's still a thing, but just just in case. Okay, let's see. What am I at? 567? I'm getting there. Apparently I have a shovel coming with me on the map now. Okay. Have you considered getting a speed set for your art character so you can do it quicker? 
Uh, no, not really. I do archaeology across a lot of different characters, so it really wouldn't be worth my time. My main archaeology character is done. I already completed all the, um, whatever you call it, achievements and stuff. There we go. Nice. Also, y'all stay hydrated. It's good for you. Hydrate. Happy B-Day, Kraken. Thank you, Rant Man. And glad to have you here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. There we go. 468. Getting close. Getting close. And then we can swap characters. How many am I up to? Ooh, nice. 110. Nice, tasty 110 artifacts. That's delicious. Yas, please. I've drank so much water today after seeing so many big kidney stones in pathology class. I'm not surprised. Doing any sort of science biology stuff, you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take care of myself a little better now. <laughs> Don't waterboard yourself. I get it though. Here we go. That's the last thing we need. Kidney stones. <laughs> I hope I never get one. Here we go. Remember I made you laugh last year in your B-Day stream, you said your age, you said that's about you said that's about as old as my glasses. <laughs> That's right, you did! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. You made me laugh again with the joke. <laughs> uh, appreciate it. And appreciate you being here again. Second birthday in a row, look at that. That's why I don't smoke. Uh, Mom showed me smoker's lungs when I was like six, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not touching that. Yeah, have you ever, like, any of you others ever seen any s pictures of smoker's lungs? It's terrifying. No, thank you. I will pass on that. Thank you. Let's see. 575, getting closer. And I think I will do dwarf. I will do dwarf this time. Try to get the staff. I don't know if it actually helps or not, but... Happy birthday, Kraken, Kratrol Heart. Tawapora subscribed to your channel for 12 months. Thank you so much for the resub, Tawapora. Super appreciate your support, and thank you for the happy birthday wishes. That is a cute heart. Critical crit roll heart. Ah, oh, I see it. Super appreciate your continued support, because thanks to folks like you, I can keep working. Why is my BTS react not working? Did it react? No, it's just slow. It did. I'm just blind. Alright, just making sure. There we go. But yes, thank you so much. Oh, where am I going? This way. Oh, hi, just popping into the lyric. Wish you a very happy birthday, Kraken. Thank you, TMI. Glad to have you here. And have a good lurk. Hope you're... Hope whatever you're working on goes good. Thank you so much. I quit almost 13 years ago. Oh, well that's good. Like, I have nothing against smoking itself. I just would no way want to do it myself. <sighs> no thank you. Too many consequences. Smoking, I mean. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> Grats on your stream B-Day. Thank you. I uh, quit in 2011. Best thing ever. I am the worst ex-smoker ever. <laughs> Understandable. All right. Let's see, is this all gone? Yep. All gone. Okay. Now we can keep digging. So nice to get around with dragon riding. So nice. So incredibly nice, man. Here we go. Beautiful. 
Uh, and today is also the last day of February. Not just the 29th, not just my birthday. And the reason that's significant is because when we stream next, assuming I'm still above 300, which I should be, because of all of you lovelies resubbing to me, um, I will be that little number. It'll be month two of three. I will have passed the first month for qualification on the 7030. So, pretty great. I, I have hoped for a long time my dad could quit. Very hard, though. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's definitely hard if you're super, super used to it. I'm working on healthy coping skills to quit since it's always been a coping me mechanism, rather, for me. Don't let peer pressure get you and your teens. I tell all my little cousins that. Yeah, absolutely not. Like, I never really did any smoking or drugs or anything, but there is a lot of peer pressure stuff I wish I didn't do. Just a lot of life choices that I wish I had uh, made up my own mind about. Learned the hard way on that 20 years later. Oh well. <sighs> Do we know how strict they'll be if you drop below 300? Yep, if I drop below 300 in the middle of the qualification months after hitting it, I will immediately be disqualified. And I'll have to try again next year. Because they'll redo this evaluation again next year. But since I was three quarters of the way there, I was like, okay, let's see if we can do it this year. So, yes. I do indeed know. Peer pressure got me smoking when I was in the Navy. Ah, Bummer. Everyone can check on the resub day to make sure uh, there is no overlap. That's true. That is true. Thank you, Wolfie. Happy ding day. Thank you, Natty. Glad to have you here. Hope you're having a great day. I always listen to a friend. I thought they were anything bad, but I felt like I should have been making my own choices. Mostly related to school. Yeah, completely understandable. Completely understandable. Kraken, you are amazingly, super fantabulously awesome. I now have two other mop cloaks I was missing. It worked! Yay! Congrats! I'm glad it was still a thing. So that's good to hear. Glad that's still amazing. Good. So there you go. If anyone already had a mop cloak and you didn't go buy the other ones, I assume you have to have done it on a character that has all roles available. But if you did, you can go buy the other cloaks from a vendor inside the Tavern in the Mists. And Hapone just confirmed it's still available, so... Yes! Maybe I should make a video about that. Let me put that in crack, in fact. Uh, let's see. Crack, in fact. Uh, mop cloak. Still buy vendor if complete. There. I have to make notes when I remember them. I know I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos, but I have a whole bunch planned for when I get Twitch a little more settled. Oh, it's like I don't smoke or drink or do drugs, but I am fat. <laughs> Aw, I flop. Uh, I see it escaped. Uh, I escaped all shit I went through through on food. One way or another, I could have picked worse things. Yeah, there's definitely worse things out there. I get it. Uh, do you know when subs expire? Does it tell you anywhere? It does not tell me anywhere when your guys' subs expire, except for when the numbers suddenly drop. <laughs> That's the only way I know. Uh, but otherwise, no, I can't look at, like, to my knowledge, your guys' timers and stuff. It tells you, uh, when you click manage your sub, I believe it tells you your resub day. I think that was more indirect to, yeah, if, if I know, yeah. Which I don't believe so, no. I've not really super looked into it, but I don't think so. Also, thank you so much for the resub. Not sure why the thing didn't get picked up. That's weird. But thank you so much, Jardis, for the resub. Super appreciate your continued support, because thanks to folks like you, I can keep working. We were trapped in family resistant. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, got me. I saw that comment mid, uh, mid go. Uh, happy birthday. Love you, m'lady. Thank you so much. Oh, Verkorn subscribed to your channel for 16 months. Verkhone? That says your name really weird. Anyway, thank you so much, Verk, for the resub as well. I super appreciate your continued support. 
Because thanks to folks like you, I might be able to hit that 70-30 split. Thank you so much. Oh, we're in an ad break. I should go get coffee. I want to back up to tier 3. Oh, man. Thank you, Burke. Tier 3 is expensive, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So the sub goals has reached. You're going to get the 70-30 contract. Maybe, Yardis. Maybe. I have to have... I have to stay above 300 through May 1st. I've still got two months to go. We are at the 300, but I have to maintain it. So one month is roughly down. We'll be at the end of tonight. Still got two months to go. So we'll see. We'll see. And that depends on how picky they want to be. They've been pretty picky with me in the past about uh, my numbers, so we'll see. I feel that in senior year of college, I felt I was going to get kicked out or even that I should drop out. Uh, the stress was immense and I ate so much fast food I didn't exercise much. Aww. I feel that. Saving that quote. <laughs> yes, we are not fat. We are drought and famine resistant. That's adorable. That is cute. And very true. There we go. I don't know about the drought. With more weight comes more water and tech needed. Technically, I need to take four liters a day for my weight. Oh, you know, that makes sense. To be honest, that makes sense. Eh. There we go. Oh, there we go. The thing people forget, fat in the body is an organ that needs water for it to supply with the blood. That is true. That's technically a natural part of us, and unfortunately. <laughs> You're right. Uh, that is true. Well, mine gets well, well hydrated, that's for sure. So, you'll hydrate. Uh, you guys don't know fat. When I pass a window, people think there's an eclipse outside. Aw, oh, rant man, come on. Aw, <laughs> oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Come on now. I mean, that's a great joke, but... <laughs> uh... Nah, I get it. I used to be a lot thinner myself. I used to be a jogger and a runner for uh, exercise and stuff because I enjoy it. That's kind of the only form of exercise I actually like. But since I don't work in town anymore and I'm not near a track or a trail, I live out in the middle of nowhere, um, not really anywhere for me to do it out here that isn't gravel. Especially since I have really weak knees. Uh, so, you know, it's whatever. What am I at? 590? Almost 600 and we can switch characters. Uh, I'm 5'6 and 290 pounds. Understandable. I'm 5'8. I'm actually taller than you. That's funny. Um, there's nothing funny about your height, I'm just saying. I always feel like surprised when I'm taller than people because everyone I live around is way taller than me except for like my mom. So when I meet people shorter than me, I'm like, whoa! I'm the tall one now! <laughs> you know? For me, my weight is very much a thing of habit. I think it's for most, though. My parents never really instilled the correct food and exercise habits, so I have to actively think to exercise or what food to put in. Yeah, kind of the same with my parents. Because my, my dad's a workaholic. My mom... Um, She's always been the starve yourself to lose weight person. That doesn't exactly work anymore when you get older. Because your body kind of goes into starve mode or whatever it is. And she doesn't really get that, so... You know. I'm like, mother, there's a reason. Please listen to me. <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It's okay. <sighs> it's okay. Yeah, I can't run anymore. Yeah. If you see me running, you better run too because something is chasing me. <laughs> understandable. You know what is bad? When your doctor can't figure out why you're fat, even the dietitian doesn't understand. I'm such a Rubik's Cube. Oh no. I'm sorry. Going up the stairs wipes me out. Oh. B day 100. Happy birthday. B day 100. Three and four fifths cheered 200 bits. 
Thank you so much for the bits, three and four fifths. Super appreciate your support. And glad to have you here as well. Thank you so much for your generosity. Let's see, uh, going to walk up the stairs wipes me out, trying to walk up more. Uh, trying to catch up with chat, hold on. That is my goal. I'm taller than both of you, so I'm, yeah! <laughs> I'm a shorty, 5'3", 5'9", 270. You see, I'm 5'8", and like 205, last I looked. I need to lose about like 40, 50 pounds. Because I have bird bones. I am a thin, I'm a bean. But, you know, whatever. I think I hold my weight pretty well, but I could sir, spend a spare to lose a little. Call it my spare tire. <laughs> Uh, I stopped growing at 12 years old, but slowly getting thicker since. Aww. I'm sorry. That was not too bad. If it worries you, you're still in a good position to lessen if you desire. Yeah, it's really not that bad, to be honest. Comparatively. You probably just see it more on yourself because you're shorter, but... My mom deals with that. She's only 5'3". No, 5'4"? Something like that. Just wanted to say happy birthday. You're almost old, Kraken. <laughs> Thank you, Tix. Appreciate it. All right, let's see. Let's scroll down here. Getting caught up, there we go. When I get jacked, I'm going to be the stereotypical <laughs> guy. <laughs> you got this, Flop, I believe in you. And you won't be Flop anymore, you'll be Hunkalop. Instead of Flopalop, get it? Anyway. I'm five, seven and a half, and around 253 pounds. Not bad, not bad. I have eight, what's the air like up there? Yeah, <laughs> sorry I missed that. Because I'm 6'1 and have curly hair. Yeah, I've seen your picture. I think you're cute. I love the curly hair. I always thought it looked good on people. I like the, the curly hair look. I think it's cute. Grass, that is a huge accomplishment. Absolutely. Even when I was a cake decorator on my feet all day, I just never lost weight. But probably didn't help that I was in a bakery all day, so I would be so tired when I got home I could barely do anything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and just being uh, on your feet, like, while being upright is technically better for you than sitting all day, at the same time, it just, it still isn't, like, exercise, quote-unquote, you know? So, I don't know how much it actually helps. Like, I'm at a standing desk right now. I sit, uh, all morning for, um, my data, data mining, wow. <laughs> it's not data mining. Data entry work. And then for stream, so I'm standing all day for that till until about 4 p.m. my time. And then I sit down for the rest of the evening. That's made me feel a lot better personally, but... Kraken is like 23. I'm 32. <laughs> Not 23, but I appreciate it. I wish I was doing this at 23. This would be a heck of a lot better. My 20s were not good years for me. A lot of bad stuff going on in my 20s. Wish we could just skip those and replace them with my 30s. Uh, I got the scary, stereotypical dad bod. <laughs> well, hey, it's better to be a stereotypical dad bod instead of uh, something crazy out there, so that's good. Uh, honestly, when I worked in the kitchen, I lost the most weight. You run around all day carrying heavy stuff, and you honestly barely eat actual food. Yeah, that is true. Understandable. A600. Let's finish this dig so we can finish that. And then we'll go turn in. I'm 5'18". 5'18"? Also struggling to become a mountain. <laughs> Impressive. Boop. Nice. Okay. Let's go back and turn in. It's time. Where are we at here? Okay. Anyway, let me get caught up with chat here. Uh, I was at the allergist recently, and they needed to do my weight, and they pulled out one of the old school scales that you have to manually move the blocks to get the weight. Wow. I told my nurse my weight, and she did not believe me to a point she started the block slow, then eventually worked her way up to my actual weight. She told me I didn't show it, and I was slightly flattered? Well, that's good. It means you wear your weight well. I'm, I'm that same way. Like, you look at me and go, yeah, you're a tiny bit overweight, but you don't look like you're, like, 60 pounds overweight. For my bone mass, I technically am. Because I, my wrists and ankles are so small, I can put my entire hand around them like twice. 
I am very frail. <laughs> Strong, but thin. Thin bone. I'd be a bean if I lost all that weight. I only will, was like that when I um when I was a uh, a runner. Not anymore. Oh well. Okay, let's see the up. Uh, same people say I look less the way than the way I am. Well, that's good. Do you have a desk treadmill? Not a desk one, no. I used to have a desk treadmill, but uh, I found that being on the treadmill while also trying to use a mouse and keyboard is very difficult. Uh, but I have a regular treadmill that I use every day. I'm on it in the morning every hour with my mom. So. So yes and no. I used to. Where am I going here? I'm done with this. I wish the I'm going to work out so I can look like Cora thing worked for me, but going to the gym is eek. My social anxiety wins. <laughs> Completely understandable. Uh, being on your feet all day isn't great either. For both, you should really wear compression stockings to improve circulation. Please get those Krakens since you sit a lot for work. I actually stand a lot for work. I'm at a standing desk and I actually walk around a lot. I am a wiggler, believe me. I'm on the treadmill every morning for an hour because I get bored. I walk around when I'm on the, uh, when I'm chatting with friends, I am pacing. Trust me, I am moving. <laughs> I sit for maybe 20 minutes at a time before I have to get up and walk around. Is that a thing? Because I am hating my 20s. I will be 28 in November. It might be. I don't know. I don't know. Just follow up uh, on the legendary cloak thing. You can get them all on a character that completed the quest chain, even the strength and agi ones on a mage. And you can get all six if you care about collecting them IDs and not just the four appearances. Oh, good to know. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, that's good. Class don't matter. I will look into that. Thank you. Don't matter. Perfect. Glad to hear it then. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, I work standing up. Um, 10 to 12 hour days. I'm in a dairy factory. I'm in charge of the butter department. I make six to seven tons of butter per day. Wow. Well, thank you, good sir, for your, for your, uh, your work. I love butter. <laughs> so thank you. Uh probably really need those socks. My feet and ankles are in pain. Yeah, see, I don't have that. I have pretty good circulation, luckily. My mom has bad circulation, but, you know. I can't wear a lot of tight clothes anyway. I've done compression socks and stuff in the past, um, but my skin breaks out in hives because it doesn't like tight clothing. Because I have very bad skin conditions we're not going to get into, so, you know. I've been told I have a farmer build, as well as the corresponding farmer strength. I look slightly chubby and people underestimate my strength because of it. AKA, I've accidentally hurt people joking around. Oh, I'm sorry. They aren't socks, they're stockings from ankle to upper thigh. Very nice to wear in winter because you get an extra layer for warmth. Yeah, I've used them before. I don't like them personally. They made my feet hurt, but you know. Depends on the brand. Some are only like up to the calf. Also guys, I'll be able to drink alcohol in America this year. Your boy's growing up. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of milk. That is a lot of milk. Cream. We use cream to make butter. I mean, it's still, you know, related. I know I'm wondering if you can go buy all the wild legendary rings if you have just one. Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good question, though. I didn't do that one multiple times. I only did it on, like, two characters and already had them all, so... Not that things, uh... Rings really matter. Just a curious thing. Yeah, for collection purposes. Okay. I'm caught up on chat finally. <laughs> Let's do dwarf. Alright, so turn that off. We're gonna open archaeology up. Because it is time. It's time for the reckoning. We're gonna do. Yeah, once it activates. Alright, cool. Where are you at? Dwarf, Drain Eye, Night Elf, Orc, Troll. Dwarven. Okay. Whoop. Let's do 30 at a time. So we don't blast out our stuff here. Alright, solve. Okay. Solve. Solve. 
Solve. A bone gaming dice. That's awesome. I want some bone gaming dice. Okay. Solve. Chalice of the Mountain Kings. No, I don't want Chalice of the Mountain Kings. You're going to eat up my fragments. I really hate that you can get duplicate toys that you already have. It eats my fragments, man. Let's do another 30. Okay. Solve. Alright. Oh. Okie dokie. No. Okay. No. Alright, come on. Nope. No, not the clockwork gnome. Gosh dang it. Stop eating up my stuff. I hate duplicates so much, you have no idea. Eh. Okay, well, we'll grab another 30. I'll do one, just in case. No, okay. Grab another 30. Please! Please! Alright, start solving. Want something. So tired of doing archaeology, man been these same four that have hunted me for quite some time. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that. Oh boy. Okay. Nope, not that. You're not picking up my eyeballs? What's wrong with you? There it goes. Okay. Nope. Uh, another expensive one. Stop giving me duplicate toys, please. No. It eats up all of my stuff. I think that's the worst part of it, to be honest, is these duplicate toys, because they cost a lot of fragments, and you have to solve them. You know, waste 150 fragments for a toy you're just going to delete. It kills me, man. Duplicates. I don't want duplicates. I'm getting all the wrong rares. Uh, nope. It's giving me staves, but it's it's giving me the middle finger. No, oh, come on, please. Nope. Still no. Oh no, I'm out of dwarf. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna buy more dwarf keys. Cause I'm out. Uh, what were those called? Dwarven. Shoot. Let me open that back up. Come on, Arky, for the B day. I know, right? I'm like, come on. At least one of them. Uh, let's see. What were those called? Dwarf rune stone. Okay. How much are those? Dwarf rune stone. Not too terrible. Uh, I need to get more gold. Hold on. Gotta buy some keys before I can finish it. I just buy a few new stacks. Okay. Let's see how much I can get with that. Dwarf rune. There we go. Hoagie doggy. There, stocked back up on dwarf rune stones. All right, let's open this back up. Archaeology. Um, dwarf, where are you at? There it is. Okay, solve. I wish you could just buy all the solves. The the uh, 
whatever you call them. The keys don't fully complete it. I wish you could. Eh. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get it. We're almost out. Nope! Uh, no dice. I'm all out. I used them all. 110. Woo. Still no. We are at... What are we up? 4,392 attempts with the staff of Sorzerathane Tharazon. Alright! Moving on! Because we've done all we can on this character. <sighs> Happy birthday, Kraken. Good luck, by the way. Thank you so much, Lonesome Ronan. Super appreciate it. I'm glad to have you here. Rip. Delete the two toys I got. Can't even vendor them. Boo. Alright. Happy birthday. Thank you, Jinchiru. Appreciate it. Okay, let me clean out my bags here. Ooh, I should buy more extra spoon. So we're gonna have to do more archaeology and we'll just continue with, uh... I wonder how much the other side is. Let's see. Not that. Um... Um, where's my thing? Uh, probably just got Zandalari in the name. Zandalar. Idol, there it is. Yeah, those are way more expensive. What about these? Edge dress bone is a lot higher. All right, rude. And I guess we'll be buying these. They've been really gouging the prices on those lately. Congrats on being seven year old. Thank you, Kanan. I believe I'm eight. I was born in 92. So if that maths out properly, I believe I'm eight. Okay, so these are gonna go, I was, I said no go. So we're going to, oh, no go. And all these over to her. Okay, I dumped the rest of my gold. All right. This is why I keep gold on me. Okay, so down here, where's she at? There she is. Whoa. What's my guys', uh, your guys' favorite WoW soundtrack? Hmm. Probably gonna have to be BFA for me. BFA or Legion. The soundtrack for both of those just just gets me. It really does. Oh. <laughs> Hold on one second, I'm being happy birthday bombed. <laughs> Top three specific songs. Um, let's see. The ones that come to mind immediately for me would be the song that plays in Zoldazar at the docks. One of those songs down there. I don't know what it's called. Um, the pirate one we were just listening to in Boralus. And then from Legion, it'd be the Suramar music. So 
those are what immediately come to my mind, so that must be what my 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 tops are. So there you go. Going out to say BFA. Yeah, BFA's got amazing music. BFA soundtrack, all time winner. The Mob Kazoo song. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. Okay. Okay, where I'll have to ask a guard. I don't actually recall where the hoarder killed. No, I do remember where the hoarder killed. Ugh, I hate that it puts me down here. Re, re. I gotta fly all the way up there. Speaking of, I need to get my other talents. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's gone. That's okay. Uh, buttons. Uh, garrison. Put that on. I need my other talents. Learn these real quick. Is that all? Yeah. Alright. Hover. Okay. There. Got the, uh... Our talentage. Boop. Up here, I believe. Right? No. No, that's not the archaeologist. It's over... Close somewhere. Where's the archaeologist? <laughs> Shit, I get so lost at this place. Other side. I think it's the other side. It's over here. You. Ah, there you are. There. She's all caught up. Okay. Let me turn on Arky. Uh, but really, it is Taverns of Azeroth album. Yeah, those are fantastic. BFA, Dressfar, Shadowlands, anything Revendreth. Also good. Yeah, Shadowlands, I think, would be my, my third behind uh, BFA and Legion for music as well. Ah, oh, Warlords. Warlords, awful. Awful? I was reading what you said. Also great soundtrack. Amazing music. Some of the... Especially the Iron Horde stuff. I think a lot of the Iron Horde stuff is just... Yeah, like like Blackrock Foundry. My favorite... One of my favorite raids in the game. Top notch. Okay, here we go. We are doing some Zandalar. I'm gonna get rid of... You guys. You are in the way. Big ol' mooses. So you were eight, but 32 in human years. Too bad you won't say 32 in four years. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, put some tavern music on. Give me some good food, desserts. I'm happy. I'm at peace. Yes. I have to pick up kid, middle kid from work who was supposed to be born a leap day, but no, she had to show up five days early. Poof. Third boat. See you later, Scarlet. Oh, we're here. Can't see. Can't see. Here we are. Okay. Mix it up. We'll be on the horde side for a while. Let me get her all... Her talents are all whack. There we go. Do I need to fix my talents? Actually, hold on. I do. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got the ones I want there. Yes. We definitely want that. And we want to finish that. Oh, hello? <laughs> Excuse me? A little busy. There. Anyway, let me fix my talents real quick. Or at least attempt to. Okay, so I did do that. I just never finished it. Okay, I want my boleros. Um, I do want the bleed. I have to have that. Yeah. Okay. Let's get over there. I want reset kill command. That's what it was. There we go. Now she's up to date. Now we can dig. Anyway. Let's see what y'all are saying over here. Uh, well, another update. You can buy all wild legendary rings if you had one character already uh, from a vendor at the mage tower in Talador. Oh, good. I'll make note of that, too. Thank you for checking. Um, wad rings... Elador Tower Fender. Cool. Good to know. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Hippone. So I hadn't actually checked for that one. I knew about the mop cloaks, but that's perfect. 
Honestly, which to pick, but my butt, my beloved are a Bolor Boloris, wow. Boralis soundtrack, Daughter of the Sea, Dollar on soundtrack, Stormwing, Gulchire Inn, Kara's on Harps, and Grizzly Hill soundtrack, probably my top three. Those are all good, honestly. Honestly, WoW music in general is just top notch. It's hard to pick, it really is. I could go on. Oh, same. Okay, yep, and I grabbed them, good. Good, good, good. I think my happiest space would be that. Wow Tavern music on with coffee and bagel breakfast sandwich and big chocolate chip cookies. Sounds good to me. By the fire and with a blanket additionally. Maybe some hot cocoa or something. Or coffee. I could go for it. I'm so behind on chat. Oh no! <laughs> I wish you could buy the albums outside of the collector editions. Um. True. Yeah. I think you technically can if you get them like I was gonna say on iTunes. That's where I used to buy all mine. Is that even a thing anymore? I don't even know. I haven't bought music in so long. Local coffee place makes my favorite bagel sandwich and they also sell all these beautiful chocolate chip cookies that go great with their coffee. Ooh. Oop, I need to take a drink. Mm-hmm. Excellent. You'll hydrate. It's good for you. I wonder if a themed restaurant would do... Oh, there we go. Well, here, we don't really have stuff like that here. I would love to make a medieval themed restaurant one day. Ah, I'm gonna have to have my pets out, aren't I? Y'all gotta be a problem. There we go. I'll just deal with them. Come pristine like immediately. Well, well, someone's lucky. Let's hope that luck holds, eh? Uh, I've always had a similar idea. A medieval restaurant, that would be pretty fun. Sorry for yelling, but I just got excited. <laughs> You're fine. I think about modern taverns a lot. Uh, that would be fun. I feel like the servers uh, just act normal, but when you get seated at your table, you can pay some like amount per person and party for the server to act all medieval. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Tire a bunch of professional LARPers. That'd be perfect. Uh, I like the uh, mixing of bookshops, art shops, and coffee shops. Same. That's always fun. We have a, uh, a coffee shop here that does that. And um, I used to go there a lot. I haven't recently. But there was always these old ladies that would knit and crochet stuff and display it. And you could buy from them if you wanted. I have a hat from them, actually. It was really cute. It's blue and green. I love it. Tower of the Sea was so good. Yes, yes it was. Uh, because have the service act all times would be really costly to pay the employees. That is true. Yes, my fave. I had it on repeat. Grizzly Hills. Oh yeah, can't beat that. I'm getting too excited. Chat is going fast. It is. I know I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I feel bad for this, but I really like shitty crunchy cookies like Chips Ahoy style. Hey! When it's Chips Ahoy, I also like the super crunchy cookies. I actually don't like the soft and chewy. If it's like homemade cookies, I prefer the soft and chewy. But yeah, I'm the same. The Chips Ahoy crunch, crunchy cookies, classic. So don't feel bad at all. I should feel bad. <laughs> I will eat Chips Ahoy. I will basically eat any cookies, but I think there are better options. Oh, there definitely are. I just feel like an airy, crunchy cookie is superior for milk dippage. True. Dipping a gooey fudgy cook, uh, cook, uh, cookie in milk does nothing. See, it does for me. It does for me. I, I like dipping nice, soft, gooey, hot, fresh cookies into my milk. It's so good. Cute. I want to be that kind of old lady, right? It's pretty great. I, I enjoyed it. I had a great time when I used to go there a lot. Oreos are the best for dipping in milk. Absolutely. Absolutely, unless it's homemade cookies. Yep. Confirmed. Agreed. <sighs> yeah, we'll get uh, Witch Hunter for this, but Oreo sucks. The cream is disgusting. Really? Aw, oh, that's a bummer. Have you tried um, mint, though? Have you had mint Oreo cookies? Because the regular Oreo, I'm not really a fan of. I love the mint version. That's the kind of Oreo I like. I only do regular Oreos with thins. Hate double stuff. 
Yeah, double stuff is a little too much. I like the fins. We're regular. But it has to be mint. It's that. There it is. Alright. All the diggies. Nice. There it is. Boop. Oh, we don't really have all the crazy flavors here. Really? Aw. Uh, well, if you ever see mint, mint Oreo, give it a try. You might like it a lot more. Because I agree, I'm not really a fan of the regular Oreos myself. The kind of my... But the mint, though. That's a whole new level. We have maybe chocolate doubles, or double stuff with the chocolate covered ones. Yeah, I don't really like the other Oreos. The B-Day flavor is absolute trash. Do not try. Agreed. I have tried it and I wanted to throw up. You do like mint chocolate? You'd probably like them then because they go really well together for, for the Oreos. Yeah, I don't like the other Oreo flavors. Ugh. Love lint chocolate flavors. Oh, same. Lint chocolate. Ironically, I bought a pack of that for my birthday to myself. <laughs> uh, stopping by to say happy birthday to you, Kraken Latte. Wishing you bountiful delights in the year ahead and all four years ahead till next leave your birthday. Aw, oh, thanks, you Toxy Dottie. Super appreciate your best wishes. Hope you have a wonderful day as well. I'm a sucker for crunchy, thin, dark chocolate. Orange flavor. I do like those. The uh, I like those. It reminds me of those... Um, chocolate oranges I don't know what else they're called but you can break them apart and they're like little orange slices but it's chocolate those are good I like those put it in the fridge make it even crunchier or freezer yes absolutely gotta get some dark chocolate Oreos I don't know if I like them but I always prefer dark chocolate same I didn't really like dark chocolate as a kid but I liked it more and more as I got older. Terry's oranges. Yeah, thank you, Flop. That sounds familiar. I love those. I don't get them very often, but those are delicious. Are they a British thing? Well, they're all over the place here. I love them. I like getting them for... We usually got them for Christmas. So they were always kind of a special treat. Yes, I love chocolate from the fridge. Absolutely. If you transmog to a mop cloak, does it do the visual proc? Doesn't seem to. Guess maybe that is only if you wear the actual thing. Um, yeah, I feel like it didn't. I feel like it didn't. It wasn't like the uh, artifacts from Legion where it still does the visual if you uh, mog it, the extra effects. I feel like the cloaks didn't. But I never mog them either, so I can't confirm on that. That's just what my gut's telling me. I also put stuff like peanut butter in the freezer. Really? Peanut butter. And eat them right out of the freezer. It's weirdly good. Interesting. Original English, yes. Gotcha. Interesting. Hello, bear. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Welcome. Happy 21st birthday. <laughs> 21st. Thank you, Birod. I appreciate that. Uh, but for anyone wondering, I'm 32. I'm 32 now. Never had chocolate and peanut butter together. Really? Well, give it a try. You might like it. Wait, it's my birthday? It is! Thank you, bear. It is. Today is my birthday. I'm a, uh, a leap year baby. It's my actual birthday this year, so... I mean, we don't really have it here. Interesting. Gotta try the Bucky's recipe for something similar. So good. Pass his cake. Aw, oh, thank you, bear. Appreciate it. Here we go. Yeah, for anyone, anyone wondering, I'm 32 this year, and in leap years, I'm 8. So, there you go. That's how old I am. So you are still 21, just have 11 years of experience. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I'll buy it. Thank you, B-Rod. I appreciate it. Uh, happy 8th birthday. Thank you, OMG8. I know, I'm just a little a little kid, little 8-year-old eight, eight Kraken. I'm a child. <laughs> Feel like it sometimes, to be honest. Here we go. Nice. Digging, digging, doodly doodly do. Bam. Oh, nope. I feel like eight year olds is old for a squid. 
You know, I actually don't know how uh, well, how long they live. I feel like I remember hearing somewhere that squids and octopus and all that can live a long time. Let's look it up real quick. I'm actually curious. Average life span of a squid. Five to six years old. Yeah. A, for a giant squid, that is. Okay, can I have a not giant squid? The longest has been known to live as long as 15 years. I thought they were one of those ones that live longer. What's octopus? Octopus. Same. The giant Pacific octopus, which would be closest to me. Is the oh! Oh! We're being Mama raided. underscore dumpling underscore raided your channel with nine viewers. Thank you so much, Mama Dumpling, for the raid! Welcome, raiders! Glad to have you all here. Uh, and thank you so much, Andy Carm, for the birthday wishes. Thank you! Leap your birthday, that is special. I know, right? <laughs> this is a dumb question. How do you get italic text in Twitch? I don't actually know. I'm not actually sure. I've never tried, to be honest. Jellyfish are the long ones, I think. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe it is. You're probably right there. Can I have an average size squid's age? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I thought they lived a lot longer. I did too, Kanan. I, I feel like I remember hearing that somewhere. I'm kind of weirded out about that, but oh well. I thought they lived much longer. Same. Yeah, that's very strange. Oh wow, I thought squids lived longer than that. I love always learn things when I watch your stream. <laughs> well, thank you, Toxie. <laughs> I know, I like looking things up to, to try to answer my own questions if I can. But like, you know, how long does that animal live or whatever? Glad I could help. Banana, welcome raiders. Hello, Mama Dumpling, how you doing? Glad to have you here. Welcome to some archaeology. Some birthday archaeology, even. It's my birthday. Not doing anything special. Just, uh, you know. Doing some uh, archaeology. <laughs> I'm a walking shower thought generator. <laughs> Accurate. I feel that. Must be my undiagnosed ADHD. Uh, happy B day. Squids live longer captivity than the open. Uh, that's likely what the what trips you off. Probably. That's probably what I've heard. Then, if that's the case, and that makes sense. I imagine living out in the uh, the open sea is probably a little stressful, especially for predators. And things that can be predated on, because squids are both... can eat and be eaten. Is there a type of whale or something that eats squids? What kind of latte am I drinking today? Well, I haven't actually made one yet. I will in about 15 minutes. But when I do, it'll be a white chocolate latte. Which, normally white chocolate would be mocha, but it's the, the syrup flavor instead of actual chocolate. So, it'll be a latte. More archaeology today? Yep! More archaeology. Through 110 uh, artifact crates at Dwarf on the previous character just a few minutes ago. Well, more than a few minutes ago now, but... And no... No dice on the staff, so... Really stingy. Really stingy. Hello, Chandrius. Glad to have you here. Welcome. Hope you're doing good. Happy birthday to the Kraken Leafling. Aw, thank you, Kel. <laughs> I appreciate it. But yeah, y'all kick back, relax. We're just uh, doing some archaeology. Shooting the breeze. Having a grand old time. This way. So yeah. Nothing too exciting here. Just chilling. Just being surprised with random facts like squid ages. <laughs> oh, I am in the ground. There we go. There we go, this way. Wonderful. If. There we are. Intact. Oh. Firehorn hatchling. <laughs> so expensive. That's okay, though. Well, maybe she'll be lucky. Maybe this character will be lucky and get something, because she's already got a... A blue solve, and it's a pet, so I can sell it. And she had gotten a pristine on her first solve, too, so... Maybe lucky, this character? We'll see. 
If you dig up all the artifacts on one character, can you come back with different one and keep digging? Uh, you can if you um, level them. If they're at the appropriate level, you can dig in specific areas. It's a little all over the place, but like in BFA or Legion, you can start there at archaeology level one. So yes, archaeology is completely separate per character. There we go. So you can dig on as many characters as you want. But if you're talking about the actual dig site, uh, no, the dig sites are per character. So there's no connection between any of your characters for archaeology. Watch the achievements, though. If you're trying to do the achievements, those are also character specific. Um, so you'll need to do that all on one character if you're trying to get those. Anonymous gifted one subscriptions. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for giving Bear a gifted sub. A super appreciate it, and congratulations, Bear, on your sub. Come on, birthday RNG, hit harder. I know, right? <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, over here in, in uh, Voldoon. All right. All right. More diggies. Oh wow, thank you whoever that was. Yes, thank you Anonymous, appreciate it. There we go. Bam. All the diggies. Diggy diggy digs. Dig 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 dig. Diggy diggy hole. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh. Whoa! Hanolis gifted 25 subscriptions. Holy simoleons! Whoa! Thank you, Hanolis, so so much for the as I stutter because you chalked me for the 25 gifted subs. Good heavens! <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wow! Uh, you're definitely gonna. It's folks like you that are literally gonna keep me afloat above that 300. You're gonna guarantee it. Wow! Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And congratulations, everyone that got one. There we go. <laughs> uh, absolute legend, indeed. I love the lore. I'm getting all 40-ish of my tunes and reading all the quests. Absolutely do so, Shandris. I really, really enjoy the um, lore of all the... What do you call them? Archaeology thingies. There's a lot of archaeology lore. And I'm gonna do a lore read on all the archaeology artifacts, every single one, when I get the last four that I'm missing. So that will be in a video on my channel at some point, but I don't have them all yet, so <laughs> I will. Absolute legend, yes, birthday subs, yes. Hello, Silver Darling, glad to have you here. Hope you're doing good. Uh, all the OGs. Remember the quest reading Let's Plays. <laughs> yep, those, as you can imagine, weren't very much of a hit, but they were fun while they lasted. Oh, snap. RBL No Cause gifted oh, one snap. subscription. It's happening. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We did it! <laughs> I love that sound so much. RBL Bears No Cause Start Adventures oh, gifted one subscriptions. <laughs> Thank you so much, RBL, for the gifted sub and for the hype train. And thank cheer you so much 100. Bear. Three and four fifths cheered 100 bits. <laughs> thank you, everybody, my goodness. Thank you, three and four fifths for the bits. Thank you, all of you. You're making me all teary over here, my goodness. I'm over here spilling my ramen. Don't spill your ramen, that's hot. Oh, there's another one. Lubberman and gifted five subscriptions. Thank you so much, Lebo, for the gifted subs from you as well. Oh, you guys are making me all teary over here. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Man, you're killing that hype train, man. In a good way. Party indeed. <laughs> I'm all trying to do archaeology. Don't let's build a ramion. Yeah, no. Oh, all my bots can't keep up. Cheer 100 hype train. <laughs> Tanabella84 cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much, Tanabella, for the bits. Happy birthday, I guess. I know, right? Hot <laughs> oh, damn. Thank you, everybody. 
Oh, archaeology harder. I'm trying. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Put on my, my glasses for focus. Her algebra. Digging. Digging really hard right now. <laughs> digging so hard. <laughs> uh, it's good even on my shirt. <laughs> You know I'm imagining you sucking it out of your shirt now, right? Come on. <laughs> Best stream ever it is. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Aw. Making my cheeks hurt. I'm all blushies over here. Man. Uh. Oh, thank you, everybody. Where did I find the spirit mooses? These are a rare over in High Mountain. I don't remember what it's called because I got these back when Legion was current, but there is a rare, I think it's High Mountain, somewhere in Southern High Mountain that you can catch. My cheeks, yes, <laughs> my cheeks hurt from grinning too much. <laughs> Literally choked on a noodle and laughing so hard. Oh, breathe, Ophie, breathe. <laughs> Uh, thank you for always providing wild content for me to listen to at work. I hope I can help you get some of your debt down. Thank you so much, Hannah Les. I appreciate it. And yes, that is my goal this year, is to finally get out of this freaking debt that's haunted me for a decade. And you all are helping. So, you are literally keeping me afloat, and I appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hate that voice. Left another stream because that would be sad to leave you too, but the hair on my back goes erect when I hear that? I'm sorry, Tix, but... Corgo 100, Corgo 100, Corgo 100, Corgo 100, Corgo 100. <laughs> Kel underscore underscore cheered 500 bits. Awesome. Thank you so much for the 500 bits, Kel. I appreciate it. Super appreciate your support. Student debt. Now, luckily, it's not student debt. I have other stuff working on that. Um, so that's taken care of mostly. From some other loans I'm working on. Now, the debt I have is, uh, well, it's. Mostly caused from a friend I used to have who pretty much robbed me. So, I won't go into detail on it, but it's debt I'm still struggling with now. And I'm, it's my goal to finally get out of it this year. Literally be one of those things where it literally would have been more expensive to take it to court than to deal with that. That's okay. So, yeah, it's one of those. Uh, yes, thank you so much, Kel, for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. The text of voice. Oh, the text of voice. Okay, got you. No worries, Tix. It's okay if you don't like it. I completely understand. I'm personally in love with it. I think it's cute. Oh, I feel you. I dodged a bullet recently by cutting off a drug addicted person. Yeah, actually, it's a that's exactly what it was, Flop. She got into drugs and blamed me for a lot of it. Even though I had nothing to do with it. Oh, Bolvinko. That's it. Yes, thank you, Rogs. Wolvinko and Stormheim. Not High Mountain. Yeah, that's what it was. Thank you. Uh, the moose is behind. Looking for a Twitch stream for a while that is happy, peaceful, and just pleasant. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mixed those together. The moose is behind the entrance to Hollow Valor on the mountain. Okay, thank you. I was thinking High Mountain. Thank you for that, guys. It's been a long time since I've actually tried to look where that rare was. I've been looking for a Twitch stream for a while that's happy and peaceful and just pleasant. Well, you're absolutely welcome to be here, RBL, and glad to have you. Hopefully, I can be that streamer for you. Oh, come here, you. Uh, just laughing at how the alerts of the cheer bit messages. Yes, which is exactly why I love the the bot voice. <laughs> because of that, it gets it really kills me sometimes. It's great. Uh, usually it's with money, and I'm not talking about it. Figured it was the case. Yep. Yep. It was, uh, me being stupid and helping out someone too much when I shouldn't have is really what it comes down to. And a debt that was never repaid and never will be. So. But, anyway. Uh. It's very funny. It is. <laughs> yes. Aw. Uh, there we go. Choo choo. There told me to share the emote, so I did. Toot toot. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love that about Twitch, to be honest. It's so cute. There we go. But yeah, so thank you everyone for the best birthday wishes, for the hype train, 
and a whole bunch of gifted subs and bits and good heavens. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, there we go. Got that pet. Deal with that now. Thank you for providing a place where I can just chill and relax while wowing and not feel like I'm underperforming in game. You encourage us to be ourselves. Thank you. You're very welcome, Kel, and that's very sweet of you to say. That's that's what I'm here for, I like to think. It's just a chill place to relax, shoot the breeze. We're not trying to accuse anyone of sucking. Because <laughs> we just want to play how we want to play, so absolutely. You definitely are the streamer. I've been watching for about a week and it's just been so fun and joyful. Aw, well thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy streaming. I've been having a great time with you guys. Because um, when I started it over a year ago now, I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. I was a little scared, to be honest. Because I've heard some stories. And if it's anything like some of my uh, YouTube comments, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. But it's not. So I'm glad this is working out. You're definitely my favorite person slash streamer. Aw, thank you, Mama Dumpling. That's sweet of you. How dare you Kraken for not trying to be competitive? <laughs> I mean, I can. Flop. Get out there and archaeology harder. How dare you not have your RNG be better than mine? I mean, it probably is, but... <laughs> There you go. That's 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 my competitive. There you go. RNG better than me. I dare you. Kraken is awesome. I heard stories too. Yes. Uh, same with the Discord. It's been really great to be here. Ah, well, thank you. I was also scared. Yeah, I have heard some stories, especially from some other friends I've had tried streaming in the past and it didn't work out because they were like assaulted in their own chat and I'm like. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, I will ban if I have to, but I don't want to have to, you know? Don't make me. I don't want to be the bad guy. I still use that cross-faction solo guild video. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's helpful. I'm glad it's helpful. That's what it's there for. Monomania MMO followed your channel. Thank you so much, Monomania, for the follow. Glad to have you here, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, I still be back up. How dare you not care about the size of other people's made up of ones and zeros? <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, thank you to to you and everyone in the community being so nice and just great to hang with. Yes, thank you to all of you. You've made it absolutely wonderful. What a great uh, kickoff for the next month, right? Helpful too. Wow, we need communities like this. Agreed. What arc stuff are we working towards? We are working toward the last four pieces of transmog that I still need, which are the source. What's it called? The staff of Sorcerer Thane Tharazan from Dwarf. I need Zenrok, Destroyer of Worlds, the two-handed sword from Dwarf. Uh, no, that's a uh, troll. And then the staff of Amine and the scimitar of Soroko from uh, Tolvir. Those are the last four things I need. And they refuse to drop. I'm into like the four and six thousand range for each of those attempts. They are not dropping, man. It's driving me crazy. But that's what I'm working on. And today I'm kind of focusing on dwarf, I believe. So trying to get that one. Oh yeah, I was gonna go make a coffee. Shoot, it's ad time. Hold on, I keep saying this and I keep getting distracted. The Tolby runs are rough. They absolutely are. What a surprise you foster chill behavior. Other chill people send a gravity to the flock. Accurate. Lou just used the Cross Faction Guild video last night. What a blessing. Isn't it? It was such a pain in the butt to figure out too. But anyway, it's ad break time. I need to go make a coffee. I haven't done it yet. I will be right back.
Okay. I am back. I don't know if the timer is here. There we go. I am back. Got me a coffee. Mm-hmm. Alright, back into it. <sighs> How likely would it be that the drops are straight up broken? <laughs> Knowing my luck, very likely. Knowing my luck. Uh, I guess it's safe to stand there in a the wild spirit moose seems drunk. Yes. <laughs> Wubba, Kraken. Thank you so much, Flop. Wubba to you as well, in case you went anywhere. Yeah, for coffee. Yes. Let's get Kraken. I'm sure you've never heard that one before. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's okay, though. It is pretty cute. Let's get Kraken. Crackalackin'. Back into it. All right. Back to the diggies. Okay, what am I at? 175? Yeah, she's got a while before I can turn in her fragments. That's fine. We'll be digging a while. We still got an hour and 50 minutes. Basically two hours left to stream, so we good. Diggy diggy hole. Yash. Absolutely. Whoop. Dig. All the diggies. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, over to the next one then. Not sure in all the time I've been around you ever asked, why did you go for Kraken? I get that coffee is great, that's why latte, but why Kraken? Well, actually it's because uh, Old Gods in WoW are one of my favorite, just like the, the um, Lovecraftian horror are one of my favorite things in any fantasy game, right next to liches and satyr or fawn-like creatures and foxes. But unfortunately, as much as I wanted to go with, like, Seder Spice, which used to be a username I had for a long time, Seders are also often equated with sex, which is not what I want to promote for streams. And the same with a Vixen. Or Fox. Vixen is often used for a, a sexy lady type term, which again, not what I want to go with. Um, and I could have gone with, uh, with Lich, but Liches aren't quite as inviting and friendly, even though I love Liches. Um, and calling me Old God Latte doesn't exactly work, so I went with Kraken. It's kind of like my third favorite of the three, if you will. Um, so I just went with Kraken. Probably not the glorious story you were hoping so, but that's why. I tried to pick kind of the least quote-unquote offensive of the three. Yes, I realize tentacles and stuff, but you don't really think that when you think Kraken. So, there you go. Uh, I love it even more because my archaeologist main is a dwarf. Yes! <laughs> Cute. Oh, another authentica uh, authentication issue with WoW. I saw, I got DC'd earlier and there was another issue early on in the stream, but I got back in pretty immediately. Don't log out at the moment world servers are down. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I love liches. To be fair, tentacles not so savor either. It really is. All of my favorite stuff, it's like, yeah, I know. But I tried to pick the least, you know, because when you say vixen or satyr, you think of dirty things pretty immediately. But when you say kraken, you think, oh, old god of the sea, evil, spiky, at least to me. You don't immediately go to hentai, I would think. I like kraken spice drums. When I saw your name, I had to check the stream out, really. <laughs> yes. That's funny. Uh, I've never actually had it, ironically. I'll have to try it at some point, just out of curiosity. Yeah, I see Kraken is cool. Exactly, right? You don't think, like, dirty things immediately with a Kraken, so that's why I chose it over the other two. So. That's why. Same for me, Kraken rum. Yeah, I need to try it. I need to try it at some point. Yeah, I don't. Latte makes it cute. Exactly! Kraken latte makes it cute. And ironically, I like mochas more than latte, but mocha can sometimes be used as a racial slur. Um, and I didn't want anyone to think that. So <laughs> I was trying to be very careful because when you pick a brand, you want to try to be 
memorable and non-offensive as possible unless it fits your brand. So, Kraken Latte. That's why. And it's also unironically similar to my name. So there's that. Like Pirates of the Caribbean Sea. Car Caribbean? Wow. Where'd that come from? Caribbean Sea. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's awesome. Have you played Dredge yet? I have not, but I've, uh, and I don't plan to play it myself, but I watched, what was it, Jacksepticeye play it? And it was really cool looking. I think it was him. I watch various YouTubers. That's how I, I play games that I'm not super into myself. I'll watch other people play them on YouTube or, straight, or Twitch and live vicariously through them <laughs> while I'm doing archaeology or something in WoW, so... <laughs> I got a Kraken tattoo and then saw your YouTube vids and had to check them out. Really? That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Also cool, yes. Cute and cool. Oh, I didn't know that. To, to be fair, I do not know many racial slurs in general. Um, it's not a popular one anymore. It's more from, like, the 80s and 90s. But, you know. A mocha would be someone that's a, a mix between a black and a white person because they make more of, well, like a, a, a mid-chocolate color. Is very common. And so the racial slur for that is calling them a mocha. Very rare though. It's not like a super bad one. And I think mochas are delicious. And how dare they slander both the person and the mocha. But that's why I didn't go with mocha. So. Because I think their skin looks delicious. So. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Happy birthday, Kraken. Hope you've been having a wonderful day. I have been, Little Hoodie. It's been a, a surprisingly wonderful day, so thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Anyway, chocolate. I love coconut white chocolate. Oh, same. Same so much. Coconut white chocolate. If I had to pick something more than dark chocolate, it would be coconut white chocolate. Especially the, um, the Lint brand. Top favorite. This kid looks delicious. Hello there, Hannibal Lecter. No, come on. You know what I mean. My dirty 30s. I don't know, but I am 32. So probably. I am I am 32 now. Uh, I love ocean stuff and coffee. Excuse me. Uh, maybe I got... Uh, easy for me to want to click on one of your videos. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Also purple. Yes. Ironically, my favorite color is blue. But I tried to pick a, a somewhat neutral, but memorable color. Purple. So. But yeah, besides that, making more niche collecting content will bring people like me to you. Ah, oh, well thank you. I try to avoid using slurs. I'm not really that kind of person. Crass maybe. A bit vulgar perhaps. But for the most part, I'm more chaotic than offensive. But like, sometimes it just feels like more words are just manifesting into slurs by the day. Same fluff. Same. I feel that. And it's just like, ugh, drives me crazy. I'm like, please stop with the slurs. <laughs> I've never heard that as a slur. My wife and I referred to the baby before she was pregnant as a little mocha latte. Everyone thought it was cute. Yeah, like I said, it's not a common one anymore. It's an old one. I don't think it. I, th I don't think it's stuck. But that's how I was familiar with it, and I didn't want anyone to get that connotation out of it and try to use it against me or something. So, you know, better on the safe side. Feels like a minefield sometimes. It really does, and it's frustrating. The joy of being in your 30s. Yep. Wee. So old, I know. Kills me. Ugh. That's okay. Here we go. Slurs are untasteful. You can make an amazing imaginative insult and it be okay. You can't say an imaginative slur and it be amazing. Exactly. Agreed. More chaotic. Nah, more Cthulhu. Ah, <laughs> uh, I gotta love me some Cthulhu. I love, speaking of Cthulhu, sometimes, I don't know who the artist is, but sometimes on Twitter I see um, these little comics of Cthulhu being summoned by some random dude, and he's like, how dare you wake me up? But he's just like, I need advice about my girlfriend or something. And then Cthulhu's like, oh wait, yeah, let me help you with that. So, so pretend I'm your girlfriend. Like, and like, he just helps out whoever the cultist is. I love it so much. Have you guys seen stuff like that? It's been a while since any have come across my feed, but it's so cute. And I'm like, I don't know, something about an eldritch horror just helping someone out with their girlfriend is just amazing to me. <laughs> it cracks me up. Turning 34 in a few months and no choice but to embrace getting older. Yep, I feel that. I feel that. 
Oh, where are we at here? There it is. Way back here. This is why I'm getting so into Shadow Priest. Love BFA. I love the Tide Sages so much. It's right up my alley, if you will. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, between Legion and BFA, we got a lot of juicy Shadow Priest lore. It's amazing. Uh, we're just relying on the old ways. There's nothing quite the same as seeing someone <laughs> trying to process being called an indignant fop. <laughs> yeah. I love old insults like that. It's just... Uh, it's even better because you're making them think. And they're like, no, I don't want to use my brain. It's funny. Uh, so funny. All right. Here we go. Slowly getting through this. We'll see if we can hit 600 before the end of stream again on this character, but probably not. Um, it takes a hot minute to get to 600. That's very close to my username. <laughs> it is, Flop, but that's okay. At least it's not how uh, the bot described your name as Flo Pilop. You remember that when it was like flow pileup? And I was like, what the heck is a flow pileup? <laughs> it still cracks me up. And then that's who I would be in Azeroth, a Tide Sage or a mage like Jaina, reading books in a Kulturist Tower. Ah, oh, same. Flow pilot, yeah. No, but same with Chobbit. Like that type of stuff, that's right up my alley. Ah, <sighs> love it. In our way downtown, flying fast, trying to dodge trees. Boop. Back to the digs. Well, it says I dug it, but where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Nice. A flow pileup sounds like when your co-pilot is higher than the plane and just goes with whatever is happening. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's a good one. I appreciate that. Uh, dig, dig, diggy, diggy, dig. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, gee, I'm still not used to world dynamic flight. I was like flying around Ellen Forest on autopilot and then like thought about what I was doing. Isn't it nice though? I love it. Is the Wowpedia dot fandom site good for quick checks on lore, by lore character slash backstories? I believe so. I've not heard any complaints about it personally. I know I use it occasionally. I use Wowpedia or whatever the other one is. Um, just the Wow Wiki, in general. I think so. But I don't know. So I would say yes. I was like, oh, this is amazing. I forgot they did this. By that point, I was doing it for like 20 minutes. I know, isn't it nice? You're like, oh, this is so nice. Uh, I'm very glad they did. Because especially as someone like, you know, I, I mainly do a lot of old legacy type content. And so being able to use dragon riding, which is arguably my favorite thing to come out of Dragonflight in old zones, excuse me, has been just the best. Yeah, there could be always be some little mistakes, maybe. Wow, lore is so vast. Oh yeah, absolutely. But at the very least, it'll help you get the gist of it. So, I would say it's fine. I'm still getting used to the fact that not only can I fly without my screen stuttering, but I can actually see the trees in front of me, and the next zone over, and the next zone over, and the next. I know, isn't that nice, Fluff? Ah, oh, it's so nice. The Wow Wiki has moved to Warcraft.wiki.gg. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, Ramsey. I haven't used it in a hot minute, so... Yeah, no. Same, doing Lore Master and the Legion class campaigns have been really nice with dragon riding. Oh, I can imagine. A lot of flying around for those. Which is fine. I don't mind if there's a lot of travel between uh, campaigns and stuff. Just doing rather regular flying feels so icky now. <laughs> Some class campaigns just ready to go back and forth so much. They really do. They really do. Dig, 
dig, dig, and digging in Nazmir. Digging in, we are the champions. I kind of sort of turned into Digimon, but not really. Nice. Oh, it's over here. There it is. Kraken, if I was maybe trying to do like a short D&D thing for my WoW friends, WoW themed, what do you think would be a fun theme? Scarlet Monastery stuff, Lich, I need your opinion. Oh man, you're asking me? I love so many things about WoW. Um, maybe do like a Scarlet Crusade slash Lich thing like you were saying. I think that could be fun. With the bad guys being Liches, maybe just misunderstood Liches. <laughs> and Scarlet Crusaders that are trying to take them out. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you can go so many ways with that, to be honest. I've never actually played D&D before, so I probably won't give very good opinions, I'm afraid. The only thing that really bugs me about it is that I can't use it while leveling. Agreed, Fluff! Hard agree! You were supposed to be able to use it at level 30 or higher, and then, like, a week before it went live, they changed it. I'm like, why do you do this every freaking time? I'm gonna slap someone, whoever made that call. So frustrating. Oh, my partner was wondering this too. Yep. Hogger. <laughs> oh. I can see both those being really fun, absolutely. No, it's uh, not tied to you knowing D, just some cool things you'd like to see explored. I mean, good grief, the list would be a mile high. I don't really have a good answer for flop, to be honest. Anything old god, lich, dragon, Maybe elemental. I love the elemental lords. Um, paladin stuff is always fun. See, that's kind of my problem, Flop. I love all of it. So, can't really pick one. <laughs> I'm not even memeing. Uh, hogger would be fun. I'm not really a hogger fan. That's probably blasphemy, but... The gnolls are cool and all, but I don't know. I like the more cosmic stuff. There you go. Shadowlands. <laughs> There's your theme flop. <laughs> Explore the cosmic pillars. There we go. <laughs> See, I have a I have a professional mic now. I can do that. I can get close for the for the effect. <laughs> uh. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, a smile topic. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. <clears throat> there we go. Nope, this way. Oh, as an intro, especially if you're trying to homebrew stuff and shove a square pig into a circle hole, it'll be easier on you to have a smaller scope, singular forest, rather than trying to do something sweeping work up to it. Getting philosophical on us, uh, Fluff. But yeah, I agree. There we go. Nice. Where are we at with this? 210? Not bad, not bad. Probably won't 600 get hit 600 on this girl before the end of stream, but that's okay. Ugh. <sighs> Look, uh, writing up D&D stuff is a pain, and I have to actively stop myself from falling into future creep. Oh, I don't doubt. I can imagine. I've never done it myself, and I don't necessarily want to. It sounds like too much work. <laughs> if I'm gonna do, put that much effort into writing, I'm gonna write a book. Kiss is your friend if you're trying something new. Is that a type of D&D book or something? Oh, keep it simple, stupid. Never mind, I had to remember it. Completely understandable. Yeah, I personally really enjoy basic daily things. It's like, I know we kill big-ass dragons and wow and everything, but how does the Stormwind Bakery really get their supplies? What if the shipment got intercepted by Nulls? Who deals with that? I love the small stuff. See, I like mixing the small and the big stuff. Like, the guy of the baker is actually also the reaper type of thing. And this is his side job. <laughs> like, that's where I like to, like to mix stuff. 
is when I mix the little stuff like that, but it's related to the big overarching stuff. You're like, what? <laughs> I'm weird. This is why I only RP with very specific stuff. Or it was specific people, I mean. Yeah, so good. I like it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh. Check off gun that small shit. Exactly. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> yeah. That's how I like doing stuff. Especially if you use it as a surprise or a twist. Like you're doing the small stuff. You're doing the bakery with the knolls and stuff. And then, like, it comes out later who this baker actually is. And everyone's like, what the shit? What? It's what? You know, I love using it like a twist. <laughs> uh. He's like, look, I just need a break from my day-to-day -day life of reaping souls, okay? I just like making cookie. Maybe I like giving back to the community a little bit. Making cookies and making good muffins, especially the blueberry ones, makes people happy. I don't want to kill people all the time. <laughs> I just love stuff like that. Especially when it's, um, I guess maybe that's cliche of me, but I like when it's things that wouldn't mix well normally, but you make it work. It amuses me too much, so. The bakery is actually a slave trade, enslaving elementals using lesser sprites and ovens in the elemental lores invade Stormwind because we are enslaving their kin on a massive scale. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Turns out the gnolls were the delivery and the baker has been secretly baking them into their meat side by surprise. <laughs> yes, you guys are on me now. You get me. That's exactly the type of stuff I love. Taking the small stuff and check offing it. That's just a perfect, a perfect, uh, Way to put it. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, y'all make me chuckle. Ah, uh, and stay hydrated. It's good for you. I like, I would love to develop that stuff. Maybe have people pay me to DM that for them. I can't think to do that. Uh, copyright and all. Yeah, probably. I feel that. I would totally get into stuff like that too, honestly, but if I had the time and if it wasn't like copyright issues or whatever, but that's okay. There we go. Um, oh, where are we at now? 221, not too shabby. 222 now. To 30 uh ooh, another pristine wow ooh, and another another blue that's unfortunate on that one but still like hearthstone right hearthstone lore is basically warcraft fanfics pretty much pretty much oh we need to go to the next area that's why <clears throat> like i know a lot of they have repeatedly said that hearthstone lore is not canon they kind of just do whatever they want, which I think is fun, personally. And I like uh, the Titan, new Titan stuff they did. Um, they added a new Titan.